everybody how's it going welcome back to the arena um so today we have grixis um yeah i should have done that earlier batras that we would have had a more cooler effect to when we, whenever we put it down anyway today today we're playing grixis Gairuda. it is a uh, grixis Gairuda iteration to sort of uh, diverge ourselves from the uh, bant version of Gairuda. now uh so if you're wondering what the difference is or if you don't know uh what the bat gairuda version is basically the bat gairuda is uh you're you're racing to six as soon as possible you're racing to have six um mana as soon as possible so that you can throw down gairuda but the problem with that is that sometimes you know um racing to six with bat that's probably what uh three four turns um maybe five at worst so you can get um reaching six to cast garuda but a lot of players in competitive what they kind of do in, um in ranked matches what they do is they just wait and they got to be prepared so that's why a lot of uh, control decks are becoming quite popular versus the garuda decks and um because it's just it's stupidly easy bant garuda it's stupidly easy to play it's stupidly easy to cast all you got to do is just race to six mana get garuda down and then everything just does the rest for you um even the noobs do it but so yeah we have we're playing grixis garuda and we we're we're we're, we're going to showcase the three best of ones or yeah just three standard arena matches um not ranked by the way because i'm still testing the deck so grixis garuda basically what you want to do with it is to delay or sort of you're playing it in in such a way that it's more of tempo so you've got dreadhard butcher you've got lazav the multifarious to bring things back from the dead or seemingly back from the dead uh you've got croxa for the hand dispersion or uh, disruption however you want to call it also we have four thought erasure because of course thought erasure it's annoying and you've got fire prophecy if uh, to do damage amazing card fire prophecy it's so it's so efficient and very nice because it deals three damage and at the same time you may put a card from your hand on the bottom of your library if you do so you draw a card so if there's any you can either use it as a removal for any three health creature or three health i don't know planeswalker uh or uh, you can use it for both uh, as a damage dealer and as a uh, sort of hand correction without the, the, the discard. Usually because when you draw, you get the idea. Anyway, so we have, um, you're, we're actually supposed to have uh, more Batra and Everquill in here. We're supposed to have two. It's just to actually, I don't know if I have more of those right now. Nope, we don't. Wait, do we? Why is it? um not collected is that how we why is it showing ba oh because all oh right yeah because batch is not its official name so it's dirge bat yeah we only have one um how what about ever quill ever quill yeah we only have one um because my funds haven't come yet from youtube uh because of the you know the, this quarantine thing it's affecting everybody and um it's it's just it's super super annoying because um I can't get my money from Western Union. That's where I get my money for from YouTube. And it's because uh, I'm not that big yet. So I can't really, you know, directly to my bank. But anyway, um, so we'll have to do what we do. And I'm doing it. We're, I'm actually grinding for cards old school before. Well, whereas before I didn't have to grind for cards this way because I could just buy them. But <clears throat> and, um, you know, buy them and use them, build decks at your leisure, at your convenience, so that you guys can tell which cards are good, which cards are not. But, um, yeah, so now I'm actually grinding for them the hard way, um, going into draft, going into uh, saving up my gold and stuff, etc., etc. So, um, anyway, what else am I going to do? It's quarantine, so there's nothing else I am going to do but play Magic. So going back to the deck, we have Batra. Um, we're supposed to have two of these and Everquill. Um, Phoenix, we're supposed to have two of these as well. <clears throat> Basically, what you want to do with uh, Dirge Bat, I keep saying Batra. Uh, that's not going to change anymore but anyway we, uh basically what you want with dirge bat and everquill phoenix is to mutate either the garuda 
um, Lazav, Dreadheart Butcher, or uh, the Dream Eater. Any of these. Um, that's what you want to save them for. That's why we only have two of them um, for that sole purpose. So that because the Batra's ability, mutate ability, is so so good, it destroys when it mutates. It destroys the creature. So there you go. And then you can you can actually um, put them on top of each other. So you can put two Batras on top of each other, and both um, both of those mutate things will take effect. So that means that you get to destroy two choices of either a creature or planeswalker so you get to do that twice and that's just amazing Everku phoenix is just really difficult to deal with when you mutate the the phoenix because it creates a little feather and they can pay you, you get the idea anyway atris oracle of half truths is there to sort of to to uh fuel our hand further and to even uh, uh filter out if we're flooding with land sometimes it happens because we're playing 26 we're playing this into a sort of like mid-rangey control deck that's why we have three e to extinction actually there should only be two e to extinction and the only reason why i have extinction of event in here is because it's to combat the the other decks that sort of have that the other decks have companions with the um sort of uh, companion uh requirement of having either even or odd uh cards but in reality you don't really need extinction event this was only there here initially to combat other gairuda decks so what we would do with extinction event was basically let our opponent do their thing which is supposed this is what how you're supposed to play this grixis gairuda version because you're putting down um you're, you're actually just putting down like tempo stuff you're putting down threats on the board and you're just trying to um bait your opponent to ex sort of exhaust themselves um throughout their counter spells throughout their removals until such a point where they have nothing left that's why we have things like dreadhard butcher that can ramp up easily you have double spark not only so that you can uh uh, clone your Gairuda once you get it down but mostly so that you can uh, double the threat that Dreadheart Butcher possesses the same goes for Lazav that's why we have Lazav here so that if uh, let's say your Dreadheart Butcher dies and you have another one put it down then have Lazav turn into your Dreadheart Butcher or even Kroxa even and that's why uh, these two are here so that you just you're constantly throwing threats at your opponent uh, as you bide your time to gain six mana or even more so that you can uh, conveniently put down Geruda without having to worry about your opponent's uh, removals or destroy cards or whatever. And uh, so, yeah, we can also play this into best of three. Uh, we have Leyland of the Void so that we can so, sort of make more use of the Geruda mill. We also have Noxious Grasp, Legions, and Ethergust if we're going up against particularly the Euro decks or, you know, the ones, uh, the, the rampy decks, the ramp into mid range decks. But yeah, so I feel like uh, I said I've, I've been rambling on for quite a while. Uh, I'll see you guys into gameplay. I hope everybody stays safe. Mike. And I hope you come here. Come closer, Mike. I want everyone to hear my voice, Mike. Temple of Ulutri. I love the I love the concept behind Lutri, um, but I'm not so sure if uh, Lutri is that great for standard. <clears throat> it's a bit of a slow day. Yes, it is. Um, I have to agree for for me and for everyone. But I've I've been having such a good time playing Magic lately. Okay, sure. Oh my god. Arclight Phoenix. <clears throat> well, I think I want to get rid of um, God Eternal Kefnet. I don't want to get rid of the Phoenix though. Because it's just going to come back after he, he casts a few spells. But what I can do when, he, when we're all set up. 
is probably destroy him with um, eat to extinction. So that's double spark. We'll put that underneath. I don't think we, we really need that. Um, we have, uh, well, we have a lot of land. I, don't, I honestly don't think we need the dream eater. <clears throat> I was gonna save the prophecy thing for like something else. Okay. Um, extinction event. Why do I even have this? Oh, right. Because, uh, yeah, there was a time when everybody was playing Gairuda and um, even the newbest of people were playing it. And now nobody, not, I mean, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't go so far as say nobody, but um, not a lot of people play Gairuda anymore. Well, there's still a good number. There's still a good amount of them, but I think he's just waiting for uh, the ionize. I think he's just waiting for that to to happen. But the joke's on him, because uh, extinction event is a uh, sorcery, and E2 extinction is. Don't tell me you're gonna counter spell that now. Okay, sure. Actually, I don't know what uh, Lutri does as far as uh, Lutri things go. I honestly don't know. It's copy target instant sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. Okay. That's if it's on the board. I have nothing. Actually, um,. Garuda isn't our main thing. I mean, if you turn, get to turn 6 and, and you can cast it, then sure. But Garuda isn't exactly our main thing here. And I'm actually... This is in favor of... Uh, I'm actually happy with this. Because um, the longer we go, that means that uh, the, the higher the chance for me to start grabbing some of these other stuff. Damn it. Double spark. So not very useful to us right now. But later on... I mean, the more we get to set up... That's a lot of land. Um, sure. He's also, like, f getting filled up with, uh, stuff in his hand. So, he's gonna have to discard some stuff or start putting things down soon. I don't think he wants to. I don't think he wants to risk it because he has counter spells. I don't think he wants to risk it. He should probably put in, like, uh, things like with flash all right sure go ahead hit me and he's only got like one of each because that's what lutri does and i'm okay with that i mean uh, we're we're sitting nice and tight here um increasing our mana so uh, if i have to do something i can just do it right off the top immediately ah hello rhymeborn that's so adorable Well, I don't have any uh, destroy cards yet, but sure. Man, this is boring. <laughs> <coughs> kind of a boring um, start we have here. So that's even. How much land do we have for us to put down Everquill? Never. So that's it. It's a mutate, so I can't really. I'm more curious that we're not getting like the other stuff like fire prophecy and uh, our other cards, heartless act. Wait, hold on. How come we don't have a face? Where is our face? Where is our face? Uh oh, our face is non-existent. What did he do? Um, okay. Come on, face. Show yourself. There we are. <clears throat> so is he going to start doing his thing or <clears throat> I can I can hold out to like the last second. 
Oh look, thought erasure. Please do counter. Ooh, he's thinking about it. This doesn't have... Oh, it does. It has flash. So he can put it down anytime. Problem is he doesn't have a lot of uh, land. Unless he's like super efficient with it. Go ahead, put it down. He has four, five, six, seven. Yep. He's really thinking hard. Yeah, sure. I can still pay for the four. And I'll still have enough to... Uh, and I'd, I'd still have enough to uh, like do a thing. <clears throat> Eat to extinction, probably. Quench. Well, that means he's used two. And uh, I wonder if he's got anything else in there. Let's see if we can eat to extinction this uh, Brimborn Cutthroat. If he has a like negate or something, then that's kind of bad. Oh, he doesn't. Interesting. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this in the library. You want that? It is going to opt. What you got, pal? What you got? That's odd, odd. That's even. So let me see. I can throw down the Everquill, right? Oh, only two spells. What could that be? Scatter essence? Or isn't, uh, I don't know how you say it. Essence scatter? <clears throat> only two mana. How interesting. Okay, well we can cast this. Um, duplicate it. And we still have enough for Heartless Act. <clears throat> I knew it. Bye. It was a ruse. That's what it was. A ruse. <clears throat> Ooh. Doink. Three damage. What else are you going to cast? <clears throat> Looking for counter spells? He's only got one of each. I think he's expecting me to cast Geruda, but no, that's not what's happening. Unless I, I have nothing else to do, then no. Sure. <clears throat> he does have uh, hand advantage. So how about. <clears throat> He's waiting for it, isn't he? Yeah, he's waiting for it. But no, because this is gonna be this is gonna happen. Uh, this is gonna be our advantage. Yes, I do have enough to put down Garuda, but I just want to put uh, creatures down on the board. Why won't he just put down his loot tree, though? Okay, sure. Bounce it. This is a sorcery. Mmm. You know this has flash, right?
I definitely should have more of these though. Dirge bat. I definitely do need more of it. Oh what, you think I won't block? I will. You and your cheap parlor tricks. Now how I just I kind of what else uh well there's a lot. He can he can have uh yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of things that he can have to counter Gairuda. <clears throat> but of course we've got Kroxa. Since we did um we did grab a lot of land, so it would make sense um for us to to be able to start casting these creatures. <coughs> We also have Lazav, so uh, we can turn him into like a, an Everquill or a Dirge Bat or whatever. Yep, and I can actually still put this down, right? Um, I gotta make sure that I take out the right ones though. Fire Prophecy, Thought Erasure. How many have I selected? E to extinction. <clears throat> he's holding out. Uh, he's he's just he's too cautious. I have no idea why. Uh, for each spell in your really okay, sure, I'll pay. <clears throat> I have no idea what the other one did, but okay. Lutri is down on the board. Why, hello, Lutri. It looks like he's out of counter spells. Are you out of counter spells, sir? Are you out of counter spells? <clears throat> so let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five. So that's four. Oop. Ow. Oh, shit. Well, that was a good game, I suppose. As far as good games go. <clears throat> uh, I don't know if I want Garuda here. But we have a couple of things that are usable. Oh, look. Karuga. It's actually kind of the first time I'm going up against a <clears throat> Jeskai deck. Uh, 8 to in extinction. Yeah, sure. This affects a planeswalker or a creature. So, yep. Wait, what? Why do we have black? Why is there black in there? Why are you playing four colors? <clears throat> I don't like. I'm going to put down the Dreadhorde Butcher. Uh, he's probably got... Uh, oh, there goes Tyrant. Uh, there goes that one. Well, the joke's on you. I have another one. Okay, and looks like he's gonna put down the Bone Crusher Giant. Sure. Oh, shit. No, please. Two in my hand is enough. I will take your two damage. What is he playing? Four colors? Five colors? Four or five Victory colors? Oh, he's plussing for mana. Well, the real test comes when I try to see how many Narsets he's got by doing this. How overwhelming. <laughs> well, it's, it's not like Basically, the Grixis Gairuda. Oh my god. That which appears must mean many paths lie before me. Maybe I should have put down uh, the Dreadhorde Butcher instead. 
Yeah, this is gonna affect him either way. So it's gonna boink and then doink. And we still have uh, Kropsa. I'm obviously getting to him. I'm obviously getting on his nerves because he keeps nicing and unnicing. Because he has fires of invention, is that it? Boom. Okay, sure. Well, that killed my Crooksa, so... I mean, oh, that killed my uh, Dreadhorde, so Breathe that means in. that I can actually... Exhale. Oh look, another land. Hi. Stop being so... S salty. Jeez. <laughs> Stop being so salty, bruh. Well, actually, that's that's kind of the, the thing here. Uh, I, c I have no real uh, way of knowing if he's actually being salty or if he's actually saying good game for like uh, being a, a good game gamer, a good uh, player. I prefer uh, yikes. Well, I do need the blue if I want to send out that thought erasure. Uh, Temple of Malice, maybe. Wow, this is kind of risky. I'm tempted to say that uh, we should take away the E to extinction, but I am, I, I definitely will need that some way or form, but we do have Heartless Act, but Heartless Act only targets creatures. Uh, so, ooh, Dirge Bat coming out early. And that's good, yeah, Prophecy. So if I actually, if I have to send back the Dirge Bat, because uh, normally these, these uh, mutate creatures, you want them to come down after let's say Gairuda's come down or if you have like the dread herd if you have another creature on the board so that you can send them in um for their for whatever their cost now i'm not sure if i want the dread herd butcher or thought erasure but i think i want to go headstrong with dread herd butcher and see how he reacts because he's only at two three mana uh, i want to see if he's going to do something about my my dreadhorde butcher and it looks like he's not so yeah or he may send it back uh we don't know he's just preventing ah ah okay well uh fire prophecy is kind of uh, too good but i'm willing to use heartless act on it Okay, it looks like he's playing um, Izzet Flash. So we'll put that down there. Uh, let's see if we can get another land from... Yeah, we'll take that. And yeah, we'll just, we'll just send this in. If he puts down another one, we can destroy it with... Uh, ooh. That's interesting. And he does have... Um, okay. Uh, it didn't die, so... Well, now I can actually... I can try and see if... Uh, if he's got any other counter spells in there. Yep, there you go. Three cards down. Um, I'm, I'm feeling pretty okay. Let's see what else he... The Royal Scions. Sure, okay. I appreciate clean victory. Mm. Now, there are a few a things that I have in mind here. Um, that I, I, I sort of... I can foresee happening. But... Dirge Bat is actually Dirge Bat has flash, so it's very useful. Uh, Fire Prophecy also is instant speed. Uh, Extinction is also an instant speed. So if we if we actually if if the Royal Science is prove a, a a problem, prove to be a problem. So I'm going to throw down the Dirge Bat. See what he does if he tries to counter it. It has flash, so... Okay, there he goes. Scatter es essence scatter. Something pretty cheap. Now, I'm not going to... Do we have six yet? We actually do have six, but I'm not going to throw down Gairuda yet. Mm, a quest of mystery. Yeah, he's getting rid of his uh, removals and stuff. Ooh, Crackling Drake. On the Royal Science. Yeah, he has to make a choice whether to counter 
Ooh. Fire Prophecy. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Okay. Um, well, Fire Prophecy is not going to do much for us here. But at least it's a draw. Draw removal. Yeah, we can take out Fabled Passage. Dreadheart Butcher. Okay. So he's definitely not going to block this. Because if he does... What? Did I not meet your expectations? Of course I'm not going to. So he's down to two cards. Two, uh... Probably has another uh, counter spell, but I'm willing to wait and see and gamble. It's probably a counter spell. I might as well prepare the, yeah, quench. I did give him, give him a run for his money, so definitely got him thinking there. Definitely got him to think, uh twice that not all not all of us Gairuda users are uh, stupid some of us are actually really good but yeah uh, I feel like this I feel like this deck this this uh, deck has some issues that I need to address for instance the draw ability no uh, yeah well draw it's just that everybody starts to uh, anticipate when they see Gairuda okay well I gotta prepare for this and they, that's what they start thinking. I gotta, okay, I gotta prepare for this. Uh, I gotta wait for that moment till, you know, throw out a, a counter spell or something. So we're gonna throw down the Dreadhorde Butcher since he can't do anything. Yep, and we're gonna take that. He probably can, he can probably put down a blocker or something right now. But not a problem. Ooh. Tried uh, the true. What's it's called? Uh, okay, so I'm willing to fire prophecy since he can't do that. Uh, I'll send back the eat to extinction. Double spark, not bad. Um, considering that we have uh, four four mana to cast, we have four to cast later. Oh, this it's this is definitely gonna uh, prevent him from uh, just sort of doing whatever he wants. Yeah, so we can double spark. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's looking. <laughs> he's looking at Gairuda. He's hi he's highlighting it. He's wondering. Wow, this is an interesting take on. Uh, I bet that's just what he's. That's just what he's thinking. He's like, uh, well, this is an interesting take on the uh, whole Gairuda situation. But yeah, we'll dry it of the Elysian Grove. Take that away, uh, so that we can still keep the tempo on the board. Boink. Yep, for so well, basically what I want him to do is to cast some powerful spell to get rid of my Dreadhorde Butcher. But the the idea is to provide the idea is to provide um, threats up until we we can actually throw down do we have yeah we have four yeah so sometimes we don't even need Geruda if they don't have any real because sometimes they just wait sometimes they just wait for Geruda to come down because they think that he's such he's such a big threat he's not the the Kraken Doom of the Depths is, isn't at all that target opponent reveals their hand you choose a non land from that uh, okay double spark not important to me Heartless Act may be important to me. But Double Spark, not important to me. He wants to know what it... I don't know. He probably just wants to know what it is. If it's another land or something. He wants to know the situation, I guess. He's like, uh, oh my god, what's happening? Does he have the sixth land? Does he Does he have it? Actually, uh, I don't. And I probably don't need it. Judging by the situation that we're in. That's for did oh did it get exiled? Oh, that's pretty interesting. When uh, uh, Blissly changes the creature to the minus two two until end of turn, remove all counters from that creature. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. So let's see what happens. It goes down. 
and then it deals damage to me. It removes the tokens, right? I have no real way of destroying this thing, but actually I might be able to... Give me a sec here. Uh, remove up to three counters, right? So I can destroy... I don't know. How much damage is it? Oh, no damage. Okay. Well, at least... Uh, well, at least we got him to do that. Now we have Gairuda on the board. And, ooh, nice. Migratory whatever that is. But I think we have something better. 